A high-stakes homecoming, re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere marked the single most critical phase of Orion's journey, a test to see whether its newly designed heat shield could withstand atmospheric friction and safely protect astronauts that will be on board in future. This mission is a great success for us. Uh, right now, this tells us that this spacecraft has the outer bones and everything that it needs. So now we are going to go and finish outfitting it uh, so that we can put humans on board on Artemis II. The splashdown caps a 25-day mission, which will now be analysed extensively with the aim of using the information to safely send astronauts around the moon and back on Artemis II as soon as 2024. Artemis III in the following years could see the program's first lunar landing of astronauts, one of them a woman, with the ultimate goal of establishing a sustainable base there as a stepping stone to landing on other planets. The plan is to get ready to go with humans to Mars late in the decade of the 2030s and then even further beyond. And we know from what we are finding from the James Webb Space Telescope that it is a very, very large universe out there to be understood and explored. Compared with the Apollo missions in the 60s and 70s, analysts say Artemis is more science-driven and broad-based, enlisting commercial partners such as Elon Musk's SpaceX and the space agencies of Europe, Canada and Japan. It also marks a major turning point for NASA, redirecting its human spaceflight program beyond low Earth orbit after spending decades focused on space shuttles and the International Space Station. Yvonne Young, ABC News.